I just want to say thank you so much for being here. This is our signature event. We do one each year uh, for the alumni. All of you are working towards a life of purpose and making the world a better place. Like many people today, I've had multiple jobs and multiple industries, but when I look back at what I've done, it's always telling stories with data, and that's something that really started with my project. Uh, in the real world, when, when, when you're dealing with mathematical problems, part of the challenge is just asking the right question and knowing, not knowing whether there will be an answer. My first experience with that, I think, was STS. I just thought to myself, I don't, I don't want to let this project die after ISEF. I, I want to do something meaningful with it. I want to take it out into the real world. I think it's not possible to have a career without some, probably many, many failures along the way. But having had that science research experience, I think, prepared me for that, right? It sort of made, put me at ease with working on a project that may not work, because I'd done that so much throughout my academic career. I've been very fortunate throughout my career and education to have a wonderful series of female mentors. And I have to say, I'm super thrilled that one of them is here today. This is Elaine Labraca is here today with us. This one week in DC uh, at STS, I met a whole bunch of other science nerds. Uh, and you know, it was good to feel like you weren't alone. I think my biggest fear was that the people who won at these competitions were going to go on to be super successful and the people who didn't win were going to like all be duds at life. I'm really glad that's not true. And, yeah. <laughs> the whole goal of the previous generation is to raise the next generation, which is why we're such big supporters of science projects and programs like the Science Talent Search or the Science and Engineering Fair. We should be totally focused as an ecosystem how do we attract the greatest young minds in America? It's never that one person who has the very best idea all on their own and makes it work and so forth. It's a collection of people. And the better we do as a society of getting all of us to do those things together, the, the, the more of a chance that we have to change the world.